Welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass coder this side once again and in this video we are going to discuss the problem water and jug problem what do I mean by that the problem says that you have been given two jugs two jugs both of them some capacity suppose the jug one has x capacity that it can hold x liters water the jug two has y liters capacity it can hold y liters of water now you have been given in value target now what does the target signify the target signify signifies that you have to return true if it is possible if it is possible to get exactly target amount of water exactly target amount of water target amount of water that means that if you can fill exactly target amount of waters including both the jugs, jugs right suppose you fill v1 volume in jug 1 and v2 volume in jug 2 then you have to tell me if it is true to that it v1 plus v2 equals to equals to target if this is achievable then return true and if is, this is not achievable return false right now you will say that you have x and y it is very easy to achieve any target value uh, given that x plus y is greater than equals to target right you will say that it is every time achievable i will say no the problem gets complicated when these three points arise the only operation and you can perform on filling the water with three options what is the three option fill either jug completely with water you suppose you have x liter and y liter right you can suppose you have these two jugs, jugs right they might contain some water they might contain any of what whatever their composition is the first operation says fill either jug you can fill any jug any jug completely that is up till the brim right second operation says you can empty any jug completely you can empty any jug completely right and the third operation says that you can put the water from one jug to another without spilling without spilling let me make you understand what is what is actually happening right so in the given test case x equals to 3 y equals to 5 target equals to 4 so that means you have a jug with the capacity of 3 liters that is let me denote this 3 liters by 3 3 boxes right one is this jug that is 3 units another one is this jug right that is 5 units it can store 5 liters of water now I want to achieve that I want to fill up 4 liters of water 4 liters of water right we can use any of the composition right it can be 2 liters here 2 liters here 0 liters here 4 liters here 1 3 3 1 any composition I just need the total sum as 4 the total sum as 4 how will it happen the jug capacity is 3 the jug capacity is 4 now currently currently it contains 0 liter of water it contains zero liter of water right all the blocks are empty right now now the operation says i can either fill in any of them right i can fill both of them or i can fill one of them right i say that i need some water i will say fill it let us fill this five let us fill this five i'm taking a random guess let us fill this five so if i fill this five this zero will get eliminated and i have five in my hand right now i have five in my hand these all are water colored right now the operation says see i have to reach four somehow i have to reach four what will I do? I will say 5. I have got 5. I say empty it in 3. Now, it is not possible to empty all the 5 units into the 3. Maximum permissible is I put 3 inside it. And when I put 3 inside it, using the operation number 3 that I can use, I put 3 inside it. And after I put 3 inside it, it will remain 5 minus 3 that is equals to 2. So, I have 2 here, 3 here. Right? I have 2 here, 3 here. Okay. Now I want to reach 4. What will happen? I say empty these 3. Okay, you say empty these 3. No problem. I emptied these 3. Okay, I say now put this 2 into this. Now 3 is actually greater than 2. It can contain 2. So now final composition will be I have 2 here, 0 here. I have 2 here, 0 here. Let me rub all the remaining values, right? Let me rub all, all the remaining values to make something clear. Okay. I have got 2 here, 0 here and I, and I need 4. Now what will I do? I will say that fill 5 for again. If I fill 5 again, I filled 5 again. So it contains 5 here, 2 here, 
right right now i will say put 5 inside 2 put 5 inside 2 now because it already contains 2 it is only possible to put 1 inside it all because the liter capacity is 3 so i say put 1 that it becomes 3 now now because i put only 1 here that means i have subtracted 1 here it becomes 4 and you able to see that 4 here 3 here now the second operation is i can empty any tank so i will empty this tank it will contain 0 it is containing 4 the sum will be 0 plus 4 and you can see this is equals to 4 and this is equals to 4 yes it is achievable i will return true in that case i will return true in that case see the problem is actually complicated don't take it easily see if you try to think this is actually one of those riddles we solve right this, this is type of a riddle okay now the coding is actually that much fun that you can solve the riddle with the program you can solve the riddle with the program how will that happen okay the three options given to me are i can fill x or y right i can fill x or y or i can empty x or y i can empty x or y these are the two operations i have been provided right that means it means i can plus x or plus y these are the two operations and the other two operations are minus x or minus y i will play among these two i will play among these two i am saying that currently at the start of the problem i have zero in my hand no water is there with me right and i have got some target i have got some target i am saying for three and five four three and five right let us start with zero 0 can either can convert it to 3 or 5. If I add 3 to it, it can get converted to 3. If I add 5 to it, it can get converted to 5. Add 3 to it or it can get converted to 5. 3 and 5 are there, right? Now, 3 can actually add 3 more. 3 can actually add 3 more. How I am saying that? 3 can actually add 3 more. I am saying that if you have a container with 3 as capacity, you can get a container with 6 as you can get a target of value 6. How am I able to see that? How, how am I able to say that? So, 3 here, 5 here, right? Now, I want to put 6 here, right? So, we already achieved 4. We already achieved 4. I will say, I will say that put this, four, empty this 3, right? Put this 4 into the 3. So, 3 contains 3 now and 5 contains uh, one now right now after this three empty this three okay empty this three one comes here this contains zero now one is here right after one is here i say fill this five i say fill this five so it now contains five and now after five i will say one plus five is actually equals to six that is what i wanted that is what i wanted right so six is also achievable i am saying everything is achievable if that is achievable through plus x plus y or minus x minus y that is achievable right believe me you have to trust me for the cases of you are not if you are not able to trust me please try out examples and you can see that these are actually achievable right okay 0 can be converted to 3 5 3 can now get converted to 6 3 plus 5 gives me 8 this is also achievable now 2 more also are achievable minus x and minus y that is 3 achievable 0 3 can achieve 0 by minus right and 3 can achieve minus 2 but i don't need minus 2 because oh, oh, let us wait this volume can never be negative 0 is already explored so i will not write it again right 6 and 8 and similarly 5 can give me 5 plus 3 8 and 5 plus 5 10 now is 10 achievable no because the liters we have this 3 plus 5 but the maximum achievable is 8 so i will discard this value also so i have 6 8 8 i will rule out this 8 also because i've already seen that 6 8 are the two values 8 is already explored getting explored right 6 comma 8 moving to the 6 moving to the 6 again two options are available if i add 3 to it it will get converted to 9 not possible 6 plus 5 11 not possible but 6 minus y and 6 minus x are possible 6 and 6 can get converted to 3 6 can get converted to 1 3 is already explored i will say let us explore 1 similarly 8 can get explored with 3 8 can get explored with 1 oh sorry it can just get explored with 3 and it can get explored with 5. Both of them are explored. So, I will say this also ends. 6 comma 1. 6 comma 1. Now, 1 has many options. If I add 3 to it, it can get converted to 4. If I add 5 to it, 6. If I minus 3, not possible. Minus 5, not possible. 4 and 6. I wanted 4. I got 4. I will return true. I will return true. Right? And the winners of the competition who will tell me what is this algorithm? 
what is this algorithm doesn't it sound like something like BFS I just put a value I move forward and I all discarded the already explored value that is what I do that is what I do I just use the BFS up until I encountered this value if all the values were explored I would not have done this right okay now we have explored that it is BFS how will I do it let us write the pseudo code, uh, pseudo code together I will say that user q to store int values right q dot push 0 because we are starting with 0 and let us make a set for already explored already explored now the operation is while my q is not empty what do I have to do now I will say uh, x equals to q dot pop that is the front value of the q now I will say if not x let us take it as um, a let us take it as a if a plus x belongs to 0 up till x plus y if this is the range of a then if a is not in set is not in set in that case um, q dot push a right this was for a a plus x this was for a plus x q dot push a dot x similarly i will do it for a minus x a plus y a minus y these four the same loop will the same steps will occur right and after i take it out i will say that if a equals to equals to target return true and if the whole while loop finishes without returning true return false this is the only operation i have to do guys and i believe that you have got the gist of the problem this is not a difficult problem you just have to get to the value that you have to use bfs you have to use bfs right also there is a hack to this problem the hack is compute the gcd compute the gcd and every multiple of gcd every multiple of gcd which is in the range 0 to target 0 to x plus y sorry 0 to x plus y is true right this is a hack i will not say this is the proper way of solving the problem if the interviewer asks you questions please go through this here this method right please go through this method okay what are we doing we are doing a bfs by adding x y subtracting x y okay so what is time complexity time complexity is that of a bfs that is o of n right let us move to the code now all right guys so here we are so before starting with the code i would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as much as possible right let us try to just get over with it now if x plus y is less than target i will simply return false here i will simply return false why because this is this is not achievable let's say it is i will make a set for the visited values st and st dot insert zero now make a q of int q and q dot push zero inside it now while my q is not empty what will i do i will say my int x equals not x i will say int a equals to q dot front and then pop that value out the operation will get convert uh, will get successful if my a is equals to equals to target in that case return true now if that is not the case what will i do i will say my int value equals to a plus x my value equals to a minus x my value equals to a plus y my value equals to a minus y right these are the operations now when will this get pushed into the queue if my value is greater than equals to 0 and my value is less than equals to x plus y and another operation is my set does not contain that st dot find my value is equals to equals to st dot end only then i will push it first i will insert it into the set st dot insert that value and move into the queue queue dot push that value for further exploration right now i will copy paste this thing entirely it will come here it will come here it will come here now if the whole of the exploration does not return true at any point i will just simply return false let us try to compile and run it in the meantime please consider subscribing to my channel oh it is running fine for the only test case given in the compilation let us try it for submit as well hope it will work 
and you can now subscribe to my channel because the code has actually worked thank you have a nice day if any doubts please comment in this comment section and join my social media channels please follow me there, follow them me and you can ask them, uh, me any query there okay thank you have a nice day